A bill that would destigmatize homelessness and support the unhoused in the city of St. Louis expected to be introduced today. Fox 2's Laura Simon live in Soulard outside of a shelter where the meeting is happening with what's expected in this ongoing issue. Laura. Hi, good morning to you. Right now, the Board of Aldermen are considering a bill that is called the Unhoused Bill of Rights, and it would essentially mandate where homeless people could camp without the threat of them being removed. And you may have seen that growing homeless encampment just outside of City Hall on the lawn there. We have some video from Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox that we got at the end of last week. And when we were out there, we were able to count more than two dozen tents belonging to homeless people on the lawn of City Hall. It is certainly catching the attention of a lot of people, including city leaders. And as the camp continues to grow, the energy out there is getting more and more tense as well. We are told the camp is visible from Mayor Tashara Jones's window at City Hall. The growth of the camp illustrates the struggle and challenge the city has seen dealing with the homeless situation. The encampment can be an eyesore. There's trash on the ground. Areas smell like urine and our partners at the Post Dispatch are reporting some drug use out there too. A spokesperson for the mayor's office says the city has no immediate plans to remove the camp outside City Hall. We are told the Department of Human Services also visit several times a week offering people housing and resources. At last check, we were told available shelters are at 82% capacity, so there is still space for people who are unhoused. And happening later here this morning, Alderwoman of the 7th Ward, Alicia Sunnier, Board of Aldermen President Megan Green, and Peter and Paul Community Services Center Director Terry Dunn will be announcing the introduction of legislation to support the unhoused in the city of St. Louis. Reforms will in part decriminalize homelessness create a pathway for safe camping areas and remove barriers to establishing shelters that provide much needed resources to the unhoused. The city would also provide showers, toilets, access to services and 24 hour security. That announcement from city leaders is set to happen here at the Peter and Paul Community Services Shelter at 10 this morning. Reporting live here in Soulard this morning, Laura Simon, Fox 2 News.